In this video, I continue to look at different courses which you can find through the wingfox.com website. In this case, I was guided into looking at another course which is done in Unreal 5, and this is a sci-fi environment interior creation course. Some of the main selling points on this one, based on the marketing page, are that this course shows you the process for implementing decal and trim sheet workflows. I went through some of the content in the course and I will give you a breakdown of what to expect and what I think of it. The instructor for this course is Leonardo Betancourt, who has years of experience working in the video games industry, mostly as a freelancer. So like most environment courses, this course starts you out with the modeling stages where the instructor starts out by giving you the basics and then shows you the techniques he will be using through the whole process. The course is mainly put together in a way where the first few videos are narrated by the instructor and the remaining videos for that particular chapter are not narrated but still shows you the whole process. For this reason, I will put this course in the intermediate to advanced user category as you would definitely need to know how to navigate around and have an understanding of the programs used and some of the concepts as well. After the modeling chapter, there is a whole chapter on how to set face weighted normals which essentially means setting the faces on a model to face the normal direction of that face. This is different than simply softening edges when you bevel, since just doing that can sometimes result in bad shading on parts of your model. This is a very nice and comprehensive chapter, which I think it's great, since a lot of the other environment courses I have looked through so far do not go through this step and in such detail as this one. After that you are introduced to how to create a trim sheet. This is done here mainly by modeling the details which are later on baked onto a plane and used as a trim sheet. This is a pretty straightforward chapter with most of the information centering around the modeling itself. Later on there is a chapter on how to use decals to add details to your models and also how to UV map your models in order to use those decals effectively. I really liked this chapter since it shows you how to add details and reuse a decal texture to add details to various different models in an environment. This type of technique really helps with speeding up the process when it comes to texturing different assets since you can reuse different sections of a decal texture. After that, there is also a chapter for setting up a somewhat complex but very useful master material in Unreal 5, which greatly helps with applying textures to a model while also making the process a bit procedural as well. This is a great chapter for material creation. I will say I would have liked for all the videos on the material to have been narrated since material creation is one of those steps where it's kind of necessary to know the reason for the use of different modes. Finally, the final chapter brings it all together in Unreal 5 and it covers how to like the environment as well. This chapter felt a little bit more rushed to me as the instructor went through some of the information rather quickly in this chapter, but nevertheless the content and necessary information is there. Overall, I think this is a great course for those who have some knowledge already in the ways of creating environments, but want to pick up some tips here and there to improve their workflows. The chapter on decals in particular was a very good one in my opinion, as well as making sure to set your normals correctly through face weighted normals. Like I mentioned previously, I would not recommend this course for a beginner artist or someone just starting to learn any of the programs used in this course, since I think you would need to have a good grasp of those programs in order to follow along. Other than that, if you have made or have started to delve into environment making, then I think you can definitely get some nice information out of it. I will be leaving a link in the video description for this one. Also thank you to the folks from WinFox for giving me access to this course and as always if you see a course through the WinFox website that you are curious about and you would like me to take a look, just let me know in the comment section below. Once again, there is a link in the video description. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in a future video. I will be leaving you with a preview for this course.